Hello, welcome to Master Department, and I am Niranjana. Today we will learn about island biogeography theory, the topic from ecology unit. Okay, so let's get started. What is island? First, we have to know island is a fragmented land part which may either distantly situated or nearby situated from the mainland. And this theory was proposed by first Mac Arthur and Yo Wilson in 1967. All right, and this theory is also known as equilibrium theory of island biogeography because it indicates the point at which the species richness of the island shows immigration and extinction value is equal and this equilibrium value remains almost constant for that particular island okay so what are the parameters may affect the equilibrium of a particular island so let's see the parameters are first one is size or the area of the island and its distance from the mainland so how these parameters affect the species richness for a particular island the distance of the island from the mainland is inversely related with the number of species that means if distance is high then the number of species will be low and if distance is low from the mainland then the number of species will be high so it is inversely proportionate relationship and second one that is size or the area of the island it is proportionally related with the number of the species that means if area is high then the species richness will be also high and if area is low then the species richness will be again low now we will see the graphs the sky color is representing either immigration value or entry value okay and red one is for either extinction value or emigration value all right so you can see in the first graph the immigration or the entry curve is so much high you can see here the rate of change in number of the species okay so here the number of the species which entry in that particular island is so much high and the extinction or the immigration of that particular species from that island is low and these two curves intersects at this point which represents the number of the species present at that point in that island so this point shows the number of the species present on that island at that point okay and second one shows lower immigration value while higher immigration value that means lower entry rate and higher extinction rate that means here low number of the species entry in that particular island while maximum number of the species exit from that particular island which intersects at this point and shows less number of the species as comparison to this graph so this graph is for either large island or near island while this graph is for small island or far situated island okay these are two graphs and first one shows the constant extinction or exit or immigration while the second one shows entry or immigration constant value and in first case the immigration rate may vary you can see it is higher immigration value and while it is lower immigration value right and the extinction value or the exit value is constant and in this graph the entry value is constant you can see here and the exit value may vary it shows higher value and it shows lower value so how this may affect the number of the species present at that point on that particular island so if the exit rate is constant and the entry rate is high then these two curves will intersect at this point and the point will show much more number of the species present on that island and if the immigration rate is low and the extinction rate is exactly constant then these two curves intersects at this point and the number of the species will be low right so if we put this value as a and this value as b then here a will be less than b all right and in case of second graph the entry value is this much and here you can see the exit value is so much high and this entry value and this exit value intersects at this point and show this point if we put this point as c 
and the entry value and the lower exit value intersects at this point and I name this point as D. Then here the population or the species number will show that C will be less than D. Right? So this is how the extinction or the exit rate and the immigration rate or the entry rate may show this kind of variable results. Okay? Now we will see the four conditions or the four type of islands which show the island biogeography theory and what will be the results for these four islands. Okay. In this particular graph, this pink curve is for high entry. Okay. The red curve is for low entry. All right. The sky color is for high exit, while this blue color is for low exit okay we have already learned that far island shows minimum entry that means less entry while the big island shows less exit so if we put this value on this particular graph that means this red curve for entry and this blue curve for exit and this red and this blue curves will intersect at this point and shows this value which representing the A. That means these conditions show this much species present on that particular island. Next one is far island which will show again less entry and small island which will show maximum exit right because the smaller size. Now if we put this two value on that particular graph so the lower entry that means this curve again but high exit that means this sky curve right now this red line and this sky line intersects at this point which shows this point for the species present particularly on this island so here will be the b next one is near island right near island always show maximum exit sorry maximum entry and the size bigger that means big island show lower exit okay now we are putting this value on this particular graph higher entry that means this curve and lower exit that means this curve so this pink color and this blue line is intersecting at this point and shows this value at this point which is representing as C and it shows this much number of species present on that particular island. Last one is near island which shows maximum entry and small island which shows maximum exit as well. Okay. Now this point will show for say this will be the higher entry and this will be the higher exit as well. So this two curves intersecting this point and shows this much number of population present on that particular island which is representing as T. So I hope the combined form of the distance as well as the size of the island how affects the island biogeography theory you can understand. Okay. Next one is intermediate disturbances hypothesis which shows species diversity depending on the intensity of the disturbances. The species diversity how is affected by the disturbances. So in this graph the intensity of the disturbances on x axis while the species diversity on y axis. Okay. This point will show less value than this point. So this point will show high value and this point will show lower value. Right. So here the x axis representing the intensity of the disturbances that means the c point will show high disturbances while the, the a point will show low disturbances all right so when disturbances are high you can see the species diversity is so much low at this point why because when the disturbances are so much high the competitor species cannot leave so here only ruderal species can live and can spend their life. So the species diversity will low and at a point the 
disturbances are so much low that's why here competitors will be dominating and again the diversity will be low because here no rural species can be observed and the intermediate point which is represented by b shows the maximum species diversity as you can see this is the most or the peak value of the species diversity and this is the intermediate of this point as well this point will show nor maximum disturbances nor less disturbances right so here disturbances are moderate so at this point the ruderers as well as the competitors are observed in this particular point so the species diversity will be high thank you for watching this video and i hope this video will be helpful for you and if this video seems to be helpful for you then make sure to share this video with more students and don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon below so whenever a new video is available on this channel you can get a notifications from this channel so till then be safe and be healthy thank you